Hello there everyone, it's Maria here. Thank you for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about five plants that would be perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm wearing red today. I just love red in general. These plants would be perfect for Valentine's Day if you're thinking about giving a loved one something a little bit festive. So here we go. First up, I am showing my variegated string of hearts again. Just because it's so appropriate for this video. Check out those beautiful heart-shaped leaves. They're so cute and they can trail beautifully. Be sure to give them cactus and succulent soil and water them when they're three quarters dry. The color is just so lovely and it's so unique from many other plants out there so i think this is a great choice to give for valentine's day or to get for yourself <laughs> these are on my etsy and the ones i'm selling are starting to trail and everything so if you're interested the link is down below in the description next up we have hartley philodendron of course, I had to pick something out that was heart-shaped. It's very classy looking. It has this kind of jade green color to it. Super cute. They are slightly slower growing than pothos, but if you give them higher light, they will start popping off. The leaves start off pretty small, but they can get really, really big. This is the plain green Hartley philodendron. I also have philodendron brazil behind me here and this is also a great option let me just show you just look how pretty the variegation is on this it's heart shaped as well and just that creamy yellow in the center is so beautiful yeah each individual leaf is different from the other so that's the cool thing about this one Next up, we have Philodendron Pink Princess. Oh my goodness. This one is so beautiful. Look at that pink variegation. Like, how is this even real, right? It's so pink. And it's a real live plant and everything. This one has a new growth point right there. I'm selling this one on my Etsy if you are interested. Pink is just one of those colors that represent love and this is just so fitting for the occasion. It's a nice one to gift yourself or someone you love. It's very beautiful. Some leaves have this darker variegation. This is a newer leaf and it's still hardening off. So some of the leaves are like a little more reddish brown. Some of them are green with some cream splashing. Others have green with this pink splashing. And each leaf is unique as well. Just a really pretty option right here. Very, very gorgeous. Next up, we have this Aglaonema Lucky Red. This one is this beautiful reddish pink color. I love how much red it has on it and just the edges and a little bit of the center is green. It's so vibrant. It is a slower growing plant so just keep that in mind and only water it when it's completely dry. Oh, look at this leaf. Oh I love that. So much red. A super perfect one to gift for Valentine's Day. Although it is slow growing, I still think it's worth it because of how beautiful this is. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, wow. Completely blown away. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Hoya Chelsea. This one is a non-toxic option. As well as the string of hearts I showed earlier, that one's also non-toxic. This was basically my first Hoya ever. It looks pretty plain, but I like that they're kind of heart-shaped. 
And I especially love the ones that look like these. I love how it looks like a bowl. It like has that concave. I just really love that about it. And it really drew me into this plant. It is harder to find, I believe, because it is slower growing. The leaves definitely grow bigger before new leaves emerge. So these leaves used to be pretty small and now they're pretty massive. Yeah, and these kind of bowl shaped ones are a little bit more heart shaped. So pretty. I love that. Its foliage is a darker green. If your loved one enjoys plants that are a little bit more plain but have this kind of classy regal look to it, I highly recommend Hoya Chelsea if you can find it and get your hands on it. Highly, highly recommend. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoy planty content, lifestyle, and challenge type videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the bell for more notifications. I'll see you next week. Bye!